when you replace your engine control module with an old one, and if your vehicle is equipped with an immobilizer system, you must reprogram the engine control module to work with your existing keys or buy new keys, which must be programmed for matching the new engine control module. In this article, we will cover the part where the engine control module is reprogrammed, as that is the easier way, and we'll use as an example the 89661-42820 RAV4 engine control module. Firstly you will need to get an Immobilizer Reset EPROM. What is Immobilizer Reset EPROM? It's an EPROM already programmed with an Immobilizer Reset software, which after installed in the engine control module circuit, it will put the engine control module in auto register mode. So after you install the engine control module back in the vehicle, it will register the first key you use on it. That means you just put your existing key in the key lock cylinder, wait for 10 seconds and it is ready to use. The engine control module will be locked to your keys and will only work with them. Secondly, you will need a soldering iron which is not more than 40 watts or if using a soldering station, set it just at the beginning of the red scale or 190 degrees Celsius. You will need for this job to unsolder the existing EPROM inside the engine control module and solder the reset EPROM in its place. The existing EPROM will have the markings 25,080 on it and it is located near one of the microcontroller's big black squares with the reference IC1003 on the circuit board. Take note of the orientation of pin number 1, as the immobilizer reset EPROM must be installed the same way. Now, preheat all four pins of each side at the same time four pins completely on each side. First cover one side of the chip with soldering, then the other. Take your time and do not overheat the circuit's traces or it will be ruined. Both sides of the chip were covered with solder. Make sure all 8 pin of chip are in contact with the solder. Hold the EPROM with the tweezers while heating both sides simultaneously until it is loose. After the chip is loose, just pull it up with the tweezers, away from the circuit board. Avoid from molten solder to get in other areas of the circuit. If it does, remove it before you forget about it, and power the engine control module with that debris that could cause short circuits. Then, before soldering the reset EPROM, clean the circuit from excess soldering by using the soldering braid. That will also allow to accommodate the new reset EPROM in place more easily. For soldering the reset EPROM in, Put it in place and hold it with a sharp pointed tool, while heating with the soldering iron on of the pins of the chip. That will temporarily lock in place the chip, while the other pins are soldered. Make sure that you are putting pin number 1 to the right place. That's it. After soldering all the 8 pins of the EEPROM chip, make sure that. Again, pin number 1 is pointing to the right direction. Make sure that there is no soldering debris on any part of the circuit and make sure that you put a new EPROM and did not install back the same EPROM you just took out without noticing. Now is time to put your engine control module back together and reinstall it in your RAV4. Put your key in the cylinder lock without turning it to any direction, wait 10 seconds and then start the engine. If everything was done right, it will start and run as normal. Brief and helpful, brevity is the soul of wit.